Hello everyone, welcome back to Seven Days Valentia. It's me, JD Sensei. I'm coming in just to get some uh antibiotics. I know there was a little bit of a lapse between the videos, only a couple of minutes, but I had to uh you know, take care of some business before stream, so I was like, you know what? I'll just run back to base and take care of that and then go on about my day. Anyways, we're back. We're going to go get the airdrop. And then we're going to come back and finish up these spikes. And we're going to, yeah, we're going to come back and finish up the spikes and putting down the stuff. And then this horde base will be pretty much done. It was, done, well, not 100%. I just thought of it. I got to put on the, I got to put the spikes up for the uh, sides just to uh, discourage people from being uh, jackasses and trying to hit the corners plus it also adds in a little defensive measures if the uh, zombinos decide that they want to make a rush at my uh, at my corners, you know, they can't lollygag up there, and if the cops puke on it, it'll destroy the spikes first and not the support pillars, because breaking the support pillars could be a problem. That's the only drawback to this type of base with no outer defenses. If a cop gets in there and decides to explode, that could literally cause the whole thing to come down. So... This is just a base for fun fighting and not a base for fun. Uh... Some visitors over there. Yeah. Oh, I guess I could murder these rocks too if I'm desperate for stone later, huh? Does it look like there's a... Yeah, there is a road up there. Weird. Yeah, there's another cave system over that way too. All right, let me walk a bit because the stamina is running low. This will definitely try to cause me to start heating up because as soon as you switch into this biome, it's like, oh my god, it's so hot over here. There we go. Welcome. And let's see if we can't find a cactus or two to run into because we know I'm good at it. There's one. Surprised I didn't run into that. But now that I'm running downhill, I'm very much liable to hit a cactus. I am hunted from where I don't know, but something definitely has a line of sight. I'm gonna take all that crap. Oh, there he is. Hi, Bubba. How's your day been? Okay, we're on an angle, so it's kind of hard to hit you. You can keep the glue. I'm not going to take away your freaking Crayolas, all right? I'm not that big of an ass. All right. So what did we actually get out of that? A couple of learning, some pills, some antibiotics, and some beakers. Good. Beakers are good. The beakers are money. Thought I heard feet two steps. Thought I did. Apparently, it didn't. Okay, so we just need to lay down the rest of the spikes. And then that inner portion will be done. And then we just get, need to grab some wood. They're having a good old time over here, huh? Well, uh, I don't plan on using this anytime soon. I wasn't really planning on using this base, so feel free to spawn on it as much as you want. Oh, crawler. Awfully throaty for a crawler. Is that a cowboy? Cowboy. Okay. Hoping it was going to be more, but I guess not. Okay, nothing crawling around my base. No, okay. They already sent a wandering horde at me this today, so I 
prefer they don't do it again. That'd be nice. And down we go. Okay. Let's bought the axe and the pickaxe out. Scrap this while we're here. Let's throw these down in here and these down in here. Okay. We do have everything up here, so let's start laying down some more spikes. Okay, turn that around. There we go. Got to remember I can actually drop this crap on me if I'm not careful. He'd be like, oh, yeah, you put it on yourself. And I'm like, I did not. Okay, another row. Ah, oh, shoot. That happens. I didn't want to do that, but that does happen occasionally. Just get this back. That'll work. Come on. Come on. There you go. This is just purely for dumb fun. Okay. And how much more we got to go? I might as well take this. And then let's do these up. Do this corner first. This is where it gets a little funky, because when I try to go up, I know I'm going to hit some of this barbed wire. Fairly certain that's going to happen. Yeah, don't put it on top of that. That would suck. Okay. Then we go this side. down. Oi. And the last two. All right. So now I can put in two more rows, I think. And we'll just get around this. I might need a few more spikes. Wait. Get up on this now. What? Well, no, I gotta do these. Gotta be able to put these up. I mean, when you get the, when you actually have the, uh, the stuff for it, you know all the. Almost did that. Yeah. Oh, I need a few more. One, two, three. Three should work, I think. Right? Okay, now here's the fun part. Where we have to figure this out. Let me pop this out. We pop this in. Okay, let's go up one. And put that one there. Drop this down. Can I reach that or no? Cannot reach that. So this will be a, a little bit of a problem. Whatever, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, because I can't get that block out. <laughs> that was the only thing I didn't uh, uh, count for, not being able to get that block out, but that's fine. We'll throw one in there, and they'll still get beat up by everything else. Okay, again, we want to keep this up for a while. What we do want to do is we want to start pulling these out. Okay. 
and these. There we go. Now, the reason we did that is I want to make about 10 more of these. Eh, we'll do 20. Fun and adventure. I think I should have enough scrap for that. 520, 526. It's perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Okay, and then this one. And there you go. We'll leave the rest blocked off. And we'll start doing the same over here. And this one. Okay, we'll put that down first and then. Hopefully it goes this way. Always backwards. There we go. And again, this is just to discourage people from getting hung up on these corners. Just keeps them out of, out of the corners for a bit. I need, I, I'm going to need more, obviously. I have enough to do this corner, so I will need more. There we go. All right, I'll leave these uh, fully armed for right now. But yeah, if they come into any of this, they're just going to have to get stuck here. And I need three over here. So I'm going to need more scrap. Of course, I'm going to need more scrap. I always need more of everything, right? All right, so we'll go back to base. We'll drop everything off, and we'll see what I got to do for you to get more scrap. I could just go the iron route. I could do that. I have a stack of iron, and I'm not really low on iron, so I might just do that. Take it easy. Now that I think about it. Ooh, that's a pretty good. SMG barrel. What's my SMG barrel at? I forget what the weak point is on my gun. It'd probably move it up to 20 or 30. It's not a ton. I also need to make a new club, so I should probably stop in there and take care of some business real quick. While we're waiting for the 4500 scrap to be made. Which will get me everything I need. Also, I'm tired of looking at this. Thank you. It's just tired of looking at that. Every time I turn around, this stupid pile of rocks is right there. Cinder blocks. I mean, I don't mind the zombies showing up as much as they do. Because they they do give me, uh, so far they've been giving me good stuff to sell. So I can't really bitch too much about that. Close up the barn door here. All right. So what we'll probably do is go to the selling area first. And drop off. Yes, yes, yes. This stuff will go in storage. It's pretty, uh, pretty good amount, actually, just from random crap they've been giving me. Okay, I'm just going to drop this stuff off in storage so I have it on me. All right, uh, what I wanted to do is, yeah, see, I have 1,200 here, so we're just going to take that. And normally, I'd recommend against this, but I need to scrap it. I don't want to spend the entire episode running around murdering stuff, but we got 15 minutes while that scraps down, so... Go grab the auger again, because we're going to kill a few rocks in the middle of town. Oh, yeah, I did put it in here. Six hundred should be enough to murder a rock. 
turning in gas. We won't worry about, oh, well, I just thought of that. That is going to take a while. So I'll just go get gas out of storage and cancel that real quick. Let's put that back in here. Give me a couple of these. All right, let me go get some gas upstairs real quick. It's a good thing about having a big-ass base, you know. Always have some stuff lying around. In this case, I have plenty of stuff lying around. There you go. And take half of that. 1,500. All right, let's rebuild. Actually, since I'm here, let me go grab uh, some of this. Okay, I will need that for a new club. Go ahead and build me a new spiked club while you're at it, while I'm gone, so I have something to pick up tonight. There you go. Thank you, sir. And I can go drop that back off. Every once in a while, I'll grab some stuff out of here and build new equipment. All right. And I might be in the market pretty soon for a uh, new axe, new pickaxe. We'll see. We shall see, my friends. We shall see. I did leave the barn door open. Also, the weather looks like it's going to crap already. Of course it is. Yep. Yeah. One of my videos if the weather wasn't going to crap. All right. But I did see a gaggle of rocks to murder, so we might go murder those. That just gives me stone and stuff that I could use. And they're pretty quick to tear apart with the auger. I'll just go over on the other side near my uh, original base. Because, again, we do have to wait on uh, 10 minutes on that. We can just murder every rock we see if we want. Every rock that's around here that I don't really need to be around here, murder a rock here and there. Again, it does give me stone, which is useful. Good enough. And see, that gives me a pretty good gaggle of stone every time I do it. I'm going to hit the ones over by the, not by the horde base, but more by the, uh, the outbound area over here where the, uh, the old horde base is. Well, I'm going north. I don't know how I ended up getting turned around, but I did. Oh, I forgot. It's where I got uh, clay at one point. And I do have to do a little bit of a little bit of work around here. But once I get all the spikes available, yeah. See, there's a big gaggle over here around this horde base. So if I can go out into the desert, uh, the not the desert. What is that place? Badlands, I, there was a ton of rocks, and we could just murder a few. Oh, yeah, these guys are having a bad day over here. Forgot about that. Well, have fun, guys. You do, you, yeah. See, there's a big gaggle of rocks over here. We can murder a few of these, get some goodies. And then every once in a while, we can grab something over here. Not even detected. Love it.
naturally over time these rocks get destroyed anyways for whatever reason what is this? Oh. raw iron not sure why that happened but sure okay and weather improved Not bad. Again, it was mainly for the uh, stone as well. I really need to do this. And I didn't really want to go to the mine, because the mine's kind of boring. At least this gives the illusion of danger. You know? Because they could always just throw some zombinos at me. And there's always a chance of getting some eggs, too. Pair in here. Damn it, I keep doing that. Keep pressing the wrong button. Oh crap. Well, where's that pickaxe? Well, it, wait, no, not you. Get out of here. Yeah, a lot of people don't like using the uh, auger. Uh, I don't either because it's really noisy, but it is quick and you get a bit more stuff out of it. The, the better the tool, the more uh, goodies you get. But we're almost ready to get our scrap, so. We could uh, just finish murdering this rock. Plus there's some coal over there I saw, so I might go murder that too. I am going to get more stone at some point, too, because I have to do something for the base of making that I'm thinking of, which I had completely intended to do, but I didn't expect I would have uh, not be caught up on the other base, so. Which is fine. Okay. So we got two minutes. That's not bad. All right. Where did I... I thought I saw some. Uh, I saw coal right over there. You don't have to do this, but I'm telling you, man, the zombies are just gonna tear it up anyway. So the game's just gonna pretend that the zombies tore it up. So you might as well get the mats while you're here. I am going to need a lot of concrete for my deck space. And I want to continue to stockpile for the inevitable POI, which I am going to have to go out and figure out what that's going to be. 
But again, so far, the only boat I've had is for a parking garage, and the only ones I know of, 100%, are in Hub Cities. Not a deal breaker, of course, you guys know I've built in Hub Cities before. We done? Well, okay, we're 35 seconds out. Okay, let's uh, move some stuff up. You get 28 seconds. All right. Let's just move over to the Bonkomatic. We have another Bonkomatic waiting on us. I'm just waiting to see the 4,500 scrap, and then we'll get the uh, last 30 or 40 spikes we need. Any second. There you go. Well, that was quick, huh? Okay, so I needed, I want to say about 40 more spikes. And we'll do 50 just to be funny. Because it's quite a, it uses a lot of scrap when you do that. So let me pop that, pop that. There we go. And we got some goodies to take back home. But we got what? Ah, 8,000 stone. Which is good, because a couple of my forges are running uh, sub-500. I saw the trash. And it should have just kept on walking. Okay, I can turn off the light, because the weather decided to not be an ass today. There is somebody in there. No, it was a crawler out front. Never mind. Okay, let's continue working on this. Get this exposed. And then, again, we're only leaving the other stuff up so they don't prematurely, hopefully, go into the spike, uh, go into the lower spikes. Okay, let's get it set up. There you go, sir. You're done. Figured I'd get that done now, since I'm already facing that way. Okay, which way do uh, we need to go? This, pick these up, throw these two up, and we need to... These are already done, so the only one I was missing, I think, was over here, right? Yeah, this. I needed six to go this way. All right, and then... Just keep them off this another thing they can get stuck on. Okay, pop those in, hold on to those, and let's do a little bit of barbed wire. Let's do like 12. Yeah, we'll do 12. Okay, and then we'll just throw that right there, right there. Don't want to put it where I'm going to step. You know, don't want to put it like right there. They will, it will hurt you, too. Good count, huh? See, that way, if I come up, if I put it, like, right here, there's a chance it'll decide to detect me walking into it. I don't really care if they come up here, because they can't really get to me. So, yeah, with the exception of the wood, I'm going to need for all these fire pits. So this is going to be one of those ones where i got to start the horde night about an hour earlier. Uh, yeah, this is almost, it's pretty much done. Let me just get a little clearing so crawlers are harder to, easier to spot. This makes it easier to see crawlers coming in. My God, they are not colorful. It's one of the things I, uh, another thing, little detail I appreciated about Apocalypse. A lot of the zombies are brighter colored. 
so they're easier to see. Now, there's all the stuff that you can't see very well, like wolves and stuff like that. But there's also dead giveaways, too. Like, um, if you see a POI and you see a doghouse, there's a good chance there's a dog in there. They are putting in some new animals, too, like cougars and stuff like that. So that's going to be wild. Back off some of this bushy crap. Okay. This is re it wasn't really around here, but I wanted, you know... It'll open so I can see it better. And again, if I was really worried about this, you know, this was really just a more permanent horde base and not just a, basically a one-off, which is really what it is, because I can tell you, like, all it needs is a cop, cop to blow up in the right place and the whole thing will come down. So... If I was going to do more, I'd just defend it more. Got a bird's nest over here. And it had the eggs I wanted. There's my axe. Free wood. Okay. How much more clearing I got? A little bit. Not a much. Not a lot. And again, this is literally just to make it so I can see stuff better up there. See where they're hung up. So other than that, I'd have to rely on their movement. Which is not great, you know? So I think the next episode, we're actually going to go see Wrecked. I am in the market for more ammo, as I always am. And Wrecked is the one I haven't hit lately. He's out the other way. And I do need to find a home for this other base. I would like to keep it around this area. I like having all the bases in one area. It's always good to just go somewhere else. That looks fairly good. Fairly good. Let me just murder stupid... I hate these little trees. Little dead trees. The little dead trees are always a pain in the ass. So a lot of times I'll see him. Same with cactus, the little baby cactus. I'll see him and I'll be like, oh, a zombie. And it's not a zombie. It's a freaking cactus. These are not as bad. But they're bad enough to be annoying. Yeah. There you go. Get a few of the ones that are out. I don't think they respawn. I don't have, I'm not 100% on that. I'm fairly certain they don't come back. We're playing the I am hot game, uh, I am cold game again. Lord knows I love doing that. Yep, we're hovering right around 45 degrees. Scrap that, scrap that. We'll take all the freebies. Okay, let's go drop stuff off. Uh, let me take a look. Do I want to put this again? Like it further from that. This wood. Hi. I didn't see you here. Hi there. Hello. That was your day. That good, huh? Okay. Why don't you sit here and rot for a while? Let me just take a look, see if I can find any area I like. It's a little busy over in this area with the POIs and stuff. 
Let's take a look around. I also don't want to put it near another one because I do need a little bit more space for this one. Well, it may not work in this area now that I think about it. Just from what I'm seeing, I'm like, hmm, can't really see how I would make it work. Not, not 100% anyways, because I know what I want to build. I just need to find a place that would be able to suit it. That's not over there. It's over there is bad. Oh, God's sakes, woman, shut the hell up with the constant bitching about it's cold. It's not cold. You'll live. All right, let me see what else we got going on around here. This is actually a pretty flat area, but that is going to hang people. That's going to hang people up. You know what might work, actually, now that I think about it? Let's take a look. Let's see, we got time. I'm loath to use an area like, uh, yeah, see, there's just too many POIs. And places they could get hung up. Right there would be good, but then they, you'd be spawning on my uh, my farms, and I don't want that either. Hi, girlfriend. How's your day going? Good. Okay. I literally, cavemander walked up behind her and clubbed her over the head. Okay. Yeah, well, I was having no luck, so. Okay, and then you're too stupid to pathfind around this fence, so we'll take care of you eventually. There we go. And you, young lady. Probably somebody that way, too. There is not. Okay. Okay, did anybody have any goodies for me? Let me loot your butt. I'll take your water. You don't need it. You don't need it. A ah, little gunpowder and some cups. We'll take those. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd been over here. Okay, so the other area I was thinking about that could work is so maybe down here. I don't want it too close to the water, but I want something relatively flat. And I kind of have built the hell up over there, a ton of that stuff. So do I have any place that's relatively flat out this way? Or at least something I could flatten out that would make sense. I'm worried about this area because there's a lot of caves over here. Maybe right in this area here. Start murdering some trees. We'll think about this area. Let's just kind of detree this area a bit. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Just like real estate, man, it's all location, location, location. Might be time to start thinking about rolling into a new town for a few days, too. The only problem I have with that is moving everything over to a new board base. That's always a pain in the ass. But it might be something I do. Maybe when I go out and see Wrecked. Maybe when I go out and see Wrecked, I'll think about it. See if there's a nice flat open area that'll work out. <clears throat> It's something to think about. You know I'm going to stop and check a best girl I may not have checked in a while. Definitely know that's a thing. I'm just murdering trees to murder trees, too. It's free wood that I will need at some point. So, And my tree farms are still growing. So. I don't mind these trees not being here.
Yeah, that's a pretty good amount of wood. I mean, I wish these little trees actually grew. They don't, but it'd be nice if they did. Yeah, you guys I know I've hit recently, so I'm fine with that. It's almost 20 hundred. All right, so let's do a little, thought I heard a growl. Let's do a little cleanup work here. Excuse you. Hammock, close up. Let's drop off some more goodies. All right, so goodies I want to drop off is the dirt, the sand, uh, all this stuff. And we'll hold off on the spikes. I guess I don't need the concrete at the moment, so we'll drop that off. Kind of don't want to forget to bring the stuff in the, um, the wood or the stone. So I kind of want to grab that out of there for right now. Go ahead and sort this back out so everything makes more sense. And we'll take the pills and move that over to the selling area. Because I never use pills if I can avoid it. That yeah, puts it at 27. Nice. I guess I can put the spikes away for the, mo for the moment. I shouldn't need more. Let's drop those off. Let me throw the auger and crap back in. Auger and the gas. So we'll all sit there. I should have got rid of this stuff right here. I guess I can go get my club and make sure I'm my 600 club is pristine. I think I am going to need a new axe, fire axe at some point. All right. Uh, my club was over here. I'm going to take that. Throw that over here, throw this here, and there we go. Club is back to 100% the way I like it. All right, let's go take a tour around the base. Actually, let's take a look at it from the top side again. See if anything looks like it needs repair or anything like that before the sun goes down. Yep, wrong thing. Okay, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Probably going to take a run around the these just to make sure nobody popped in and got hung up and destroyed some crap on me. That happens from time to time. Let me off the ladder, please. Thank you. All right. Let's go take a look, see, check everything out, make sure it's not broke. And I have enough to make sure I'm in good graces for, uh, for my next set of videos. All right, let's go around the back of the tree farm, make sure nobody's decided to take a walk around it, which happens occasionally. Yep, somebody did. See? What do I need? Two barbed wire fences? Build four of them. Get that pickaxe out of there. Throw that in there. Yeah, occasionally that I don't hear them, but they do just spawn in and cause uh, ruckus. Yeah, just a couple more right here. Speaking of. There we go. Just to uh, keep them honest. Make sure nobody... Ah! Yeah, somebody came and just rubbed along here. Yep. Another set. They didn't hit my base, but they did spawn in and do a little bit of damage. Also looks like this one took a little bit of a licking, and that took a licking. As did that. Okay, I know you're damaged because it said you're damaged. 
Or is it the one further back? It was the one further back. Oh, yeah, they got some over here, too. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a tight fit. There we go. So I'm going to put back some uh, defenses. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's take a little bit more of a look. Looks okay. This one took some damage from something. Yeah, somebody rubbed up against these. Yep, and we lost another one. Easy enough. Looks okay. Okay, the front I'm not really worried about. It's the back side I'm worried about. They love rubbing up against stuff. Same thing over here. They do like to spawn in over around here somewhere. See if anybody did. Oh. Damage here and there. Because they have to spawn them in somewhere, you know? When they uh, spawn, oh, I see that. When they spawn them in, oh God, I lost ooh, I had a bunch here. This is the game just being annoying and doing crap like this to me. Uh, it's tight fit. And it looks like a little damage, or maybe I'm just seeing things. Yeah, probably seeing things. Okay. Let me wander around this side, see if anything hit the back. Doesn't look like it. Every once in a while, you got to come out and clean up over here. Make sure they didn't grab any barbed wire fences or anything. Could be dogs, too. They like to spawn dogs in every once in a blue moon. Not sure when they decided to spawn somebody in here. I never heard them. But it could have just been a random spawn happening. Okay. Little base maintenance. Got to do it every now and then. Make sure they don't break something. Break something important, you know? All right, let's start getting in for the night. I also need food and stuff. I haven't eaten today, except for the morning when I left. Okay, let's take the various crap in. We're going to sort back in to the base. Let's sort some more stuff out. Let's grab the eggs. You can keep the sammies. Grab the sand. Grab all the stuff that's easy to sort, which is pretty much all of this. And I'm not going to take that now because I'll definitely sit there and scrap it. I know me. I don't have any room for that. Well, I actually can just put these in storage, I think, right? Yeah, I had six in storage. I'll throw that in storage. Pop that back out. There you go. I usually leave these doors open. I figure by the time they can get through both the, the drawbridge and that door, I'll definitely hear them coming, even if I'm uh, making quite a bit over here. Okay, so let me drop some stuff off, and then we'll come over here and take care of that. First the seeds, and then go to the junk drawer and drop off the dirt. This crap, this crap. Uh None of this needs to go. Duct tape was the other thing. Let's go to the medicine. Drop off them. Come over here and drop off these. Might as well use the blood bags. Try and get up uh, the medicine. A point or two would help. Medicine slower. Uh, blood bags are slower, but they, again, they do raise your medicine up. And I was hurt too, so it should count. I 
my medicine is only at 23. <laughs> Which sucks, but it's not much ways to level up medicine in the current game. Okay, that's good. Let's grab a couple of these. Let's see if we can't get that, uh, maybe a point or two on wellness. I'm almost at max. I'm almost at 250. I'm going to overdose on vitamins. That's right. I'm trying to OD on vitamins. Oh, we got it. You get the point. There it is. All right. What did I have to drop off? Food. Explosives. All right. Food. Drop off a couple more cans of food. We have another 50 stack. And we all knew that was coming eventually, because, you know, this woman cannot main her, maintain her body temperature to save her life. Drop these off here, drop off these. God, I got brass coming out the ass, huh? Okay, drop that off, and a sh oh, I was in the right one. Let's drop off that coal we got. Should have dropped off the feathers and the paper, too. Feathers and paper. There we go. Let's grab some goodies out of here. It's 262. Grab some more sand. There we go. All right, let me check my various forges. And you can see what I, why I was worried. These were getting a little long in the tooth. But if I can get them up over... If 500, they get for the night. I still need to grab half of this and put it in here. Just enough to keep it rolling. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're at 609, so take half of this. You're at 834. You can have the other half. And this is the last one we're working on. This one's at 933, so we'll combine that back together. And then we'll just kick these bad boys over, and they will probably be on me almost immediately. They do not like it when I am when I have these on. Don't worry, we're gonna end this shortly. And last but not least, we throw actually we're gonna take this at 54 so we take this and we'll go over to this one nope that's coffee let's go ahead and make some bacon and eggs there we go drop off the meat yeah this would definitely get their attention this many freaking things going at once and both of my thingies are done so, guys, thank you so much for joining me. My name is JD Sensei. Sorry we didn't get the new base started, but it's coming. It's coming. Don't worry. It's on my to-do list. I do have a lot of the stuff I need for it. I just need to get caught up in concrete and stuff like that. Have a great day, guys. I will catch you in the next day. Bye now.